Imagine woolly mammoths, saber-tooths and dodos roaming again by 2050. Advances in genetic engineering could resuscitate extinct species using preserved DNA, selective breeding and gene editing. Beginning with ancient plants and creatures, this de-extinction technology may eventually restore awe-inspiring ice age giants like mammoths. The resurrection of vanished species has profound conservation implications while making our familiar world feel alien. Envision bringing your family to witness revived mammoth herds. Would you feel thrilled or unsettled to see technology triumphing over extinction? As the revival process expands in scale and complexity, the life and death boundary will blur. For better or worse, the return of extinct beasts will irreversibly impact ecosystems and human life in the coming decades. Equally radical innovations coming by 2035 are small modular nuclear reactors, cheaper, safer, more flexible atomic energy plants designed for remote areas and developing regions. Because capacity can scale up gradually as needed, small reactors enable countries to add nuclear power without massive upfront infrastructure costs. With climate change accelerating, could micronuclear be a critical stopgap before renewables totally take over? A more convenient energy source will come from nuclear fusion, emulating the sun's power by fusing hydrogen atoms. Though achieving fusion has proven complex, by 2080 streamlined reactors could supply abundant cleaner energy with less radioactive waste than today's fission reaction. When the first fusion plant opens nearby, how would you feel about cancelling your home solar array? You may access fusion-generated electricity through a 6G network, reaching dazzling 1 terabit per second speeds by 2030. That's like downloading 142 hours of Netflix video every single second. Beyond bolstering smartphones and virtual reality, ultra-fast 6G could enable instantaneous access to remote supercomputers in the cloud. Does a terabit yet feel faster than the human brain can fully utilize? Charting every neuron and connection in the brain by 2030 could digitally replicate our neural source code. Understanding consciousness while transforming medicine and mental health. But would mapping your memories to a database make you feel digitally immortal or unsettlingly transparent? Equally intriguing, nanoscale implants by 2060 may navigate signals across damaged brain regions, retrieving faded skills in Alzheimer's patients. Though promising, would your welcome tech-assisted recall or consider it an invasion? Beyond our minds, compact nuclear plants will scale output to demand by 2035, a flexible electricity source for remote towns. But will micronuclear warming us up or give pause as renewables rise? Either way, foldable screens and textiles by 2030 will let tomorrow's gadgets bend and roll easily. Mass 3D printed fashion could also disrupt supply chains. Additionally, super detailed seafloor maps will reveal geological features and wrecks. What will we discover in Earth's least known frontier? Moving on, before we dive deeper into the future, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep exploring where technology is taking us. Now, on to understanding the human brain down to the neuron. By 2030, exponential data growth may finally enable comprehensive mapping of the brain's 100 billion neurons and their quadrillion connections. Understanding this complex circuitry could reveal new treatments for Alzheimer's, autism and more while advancing artificial intelligence. What might we achieve by digitally replicating the neural source of consciousness? Could we download memories, emotions or even personalities between people and machines? Quantum devices on the horizon may one day link all those analog brains to a shared digital plane. By 2030, early quantum internet will harness subatomic particles to send unhackable messages between select endpoints. As quantum communication infrastructure develops further, could human thoughts eventually traverse the net at light speed? Replacing our biological parts, not just networking them, will enter a new realm through regenerative medicine and organ printing by 2060. Stem cells and vascularized scaffolding will combine to regenerate failing body tissues, forestalling the need for transplants. What medical miracles might your grandchildren take for granted? Could hardware hackers equip augmented limbs and organs more capable than the originals? That merging of man and machine leads us to 2060's brain-computer interfaces. Already in testing, sensor-lined skull caps or headbands will convert thoughts to digital signals, manipulating objects in virtual worlds. As software models more mind-machine intricacies, paraplegics may command wheelchairs, while coders may commit code by thinking alone. Does this direct mind tech link excite or disturb you? Mind-expanding possibilities await in virtual reality, reaching vivid 8K resolution by 2030, with the photoreal CGI world's leading early adopters to live partially through VR. Later, 
as haptics and brain links engage our senses more fully by 2200. Virtual realms could become primary interfaces, but with lifelike VR claiming more mental real estate, what's to become of consensus reality and in-person social ties? For that immersive escape, quantum computers will design custom VR worlds by 2300, simulating particle interactions too complex for classical systems. Does ultra-efficient quantum processing still seem abstract to you? Applied to chemistry, finance, machine learning and more, quantum computers will enable solutions previously ungraspable for decades. Back in reality, nature may reclaim more breathing room through carbon sequestration traps, artificially sucking CO2 from sea and sky by 2030. Deploy enough CO2-absorbing towers globally, and we may counteract emissions from legacy industries. Do you think this scheme is too little too late, or a pragmatic stopgap giving us time to retool systems? Among those hopeful sustainability strides is SpaceX's 2030 mission to establish Mars settlements supplied by recurring spacecraft payloads. Once a site is secured for fuel production, could thriving colonies follow? Or will radiation risks and homesickness end dreams of a backup planet? Among hopeful sustainability strides is SpaceX's 2030 Mars mission to enable settlements supplied by recurring spacecraft. If colonists extract local water and grow crops in simulated Earth gravity, might permanent Martian towns follow? Or will homesickness and radiation risks quash backup planet dreams? Our data back on Earth will demand equally expansive storage, with consumer hard drives commonly surpassing 100 terabytes by 2030. Filmmakers will shoot 16K videos, while VR worlds balloon bigger than 1,000 game consoles combined. What creative endeavors might you attempt with essentially unlimited digital space? Rockets won't be the only things blazing new trails. Hypersonic missiles reaching over 15,000 km per hour will enable strikes anywhere on Earth in under 60 minutes by 2030. Traveling at up to 25 times the speed of sound, they maneuver too quickly for conventional defenses. While enabling responsive deployments in remote regions, ultra-fast weapons also raise the stakes of geopolitical brinkmanship. Do you think we can temper martial temptations as technological lethality escalates? One thing advanced missiles and meditative monks share is precision, whether targeted destruction or inner peace. Similarly, quantum computers promise to pinpoint solutions by modeling nature's smallest known scale. By 2030, IBM and Google each aim to demonstrate 1 million qubit processing, massively outpacing classical systems at specialized tasks like chemistry simulations. As quantum crunches complex problems otherwise unsolvable for decades more, how might cryptography, medicine and other fields transform? The future awaits promising awe and ambiguity. May we face coming complexities with wisdom, empathy and care for this pale blue dot we call home. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.